My name is Tim Seitz. I'm a senior cloud solution architect and a subject matter expert for SAP. I'd like to welcome you all to this short introduction about the OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, for SAP reference architecture, which represents the basis for our so-called OCI for SAP reference deployment. In the next up to 10 minutes, I will give you some insights about the RefArc as such and what are the differences in comparison to our competitors, especially from an SAP point of view. We will start with a brief overview about the Global Oracle SAP Competency Center before we talk about the RefArcs in general and the SAP Cloud RefArc in specific. Finally, it might also be of interest for you how the Oracle engagement model for SAP deals look like. The global Oracle SAP CC is located in Waldorf, Germany, nearby the HQ of SAP. There we do have several offices and an own data center. We have a dedicated team of people, engineers, architects, marketing guys, partner relationship management responsible people, and many other experts just related to the SAP business. These people take care of all SAP on Oracle or Oracle with SAP certifications, whether these certifications are on-prem or cloud-related ones. And in comparison to some of our competitors, like for example, AWS, we are not new to this kind of business. We have lots of experience in the SAP space and are still representing the largest database installed base of SAP in the on-prem market. Before we talk about the SAP RefArc, we should also define the purpose of it. So a reference architecture, whether it has an on-prem or cloud focus, can be defined in the following way. It is a template or blueprint used to select the best delivery method for particular technologies. It represents a deployment standard based on best practices related to a specific software stack, like for example, SAP. It can be thought of as a resource that documents the learning experience gained through past projects. So that is what we typically call best practices. By using a reference architecture, a project team can potentially save time and avoid mistakes by learning from past experiences. To be effective, a reference architecture should be continually revised to include new insights. The Oracle Solution Center offers reference architectures in various different areas, on-prem and cloud, for various different product stacks. SAP is just representing one example out of the OSC portfolio. Uh, the RefArcs for OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, are mainly infrastructure as a service focused. The OCI RefArc for SAP includes the overall set of deployment scenarios which we support today, depending on the official OCI for SAP certification metrics. It will be updated whenever new services are available or old ones are no longer supported. For example, changes in the OCI VM shape types. Nevertheless, uh, we have learned from the past, I mean, from our on-prem SAP customer base. And we are well aware of the fact that it is not just done with the offering of a ref arc for SAP on OCI. Other important factors are SAP environments are complex, not comparable, let's say, with a more simplified kind of Tomcat-based application deployments. SAP on on-prem customer deployments 
have highly individual workloads and architectural differences. SAP customers expect a certain support as they are used to from the on-prem world. It is not done with the offering of some white papers or nice deployment graphics on the official websites like our competitors do. A dedicated engagement or support model for those projects is required. Same belongs to the SAP partner ecosystem of Oracle. Therefore, Oracle goes a different way than our competitors. Our SAP-specific engagement model relies on three pillars. First pillar, every, really every customer has to go through a pre-qualification process to identify if or if not the existing SAP environment is ready for an OCI lift and shift or if an upgrade needs to take place first. Second pillar, we offer each customer a cost-free POC phase within our Oracle Solution Center cloud environment. With the full hands-on support, including workshops for all OCI-related activities, I mean tenant-related tasks and uh, configuration and such. Third pillar, the customer will get an individual workload analysis with a best practice-based OCI for SAP reference architecture depending on his existing requirements and the additional Oracle cloud services, like for example, CASPI, uh, Cloud Access Security Broker or Identity Cloud Services, the customer might want to combine with his existing or let's say um, future SAP OCI landscape. All the described services are free for our customers. On top, we also offer free workshops in the area of data privacy and identity and access management for SAP. With this final statement, we reached the end of this video tutorial.